up Taurus welcome back to karma light readings I'm karma thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming to my channel if you're new here welcome I am a Taurus Sun Moon Mercury North Node uh, I hope that you guys are doing well and that this video finds you in great spirits please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already Taurus if at any time you resonate with this reading go ahead and hit that like button remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else this will help eliminate any confusion um, a lot of you guys have been asking me, what clarifying decks am I using? So I've made them available. My original clarifying deck that I use most of the time in all readings is this. It is the original clear deck. It has 123 cards. It's available now on my website. You can find it in the link below. But I also made a new one, a limited edition with only limited decks available. I've already sold 11 of these decks in the last few days. This is a new deck that we'll be using. Okay, this one has like more photos than just the words on it. All right. So if you guys are interested, check that out in the description box below. This one has 108 cards uh, but both of them are available on my website right now, so take a look. Let's go ahead and jump right into it for you, Taurus, and see what messages come through. Here we go on the bottom. You have spiritual gifts are activated and ready to use, as well as trust your intuition. Listen to your gut feeling. You can trust it. All right, so let's get into it and see what these messages are in regards to your current life situation, soul journey, and soul path at this time. Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, thank you. Messages, please, for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. All right, you have Hather, Light Codes, Light Immersion, Full System Upgrade, Power Recall. Wow. All right, so let's take a look here and see what is going on. It says, Hather which means house of Horus is an Egyptian cow and solar goddess associated with the sky and fertility. Worship of this enigmatic feature goes all the way back to the third millennium BCE. Hather is easily recognized in Egyptian art for she often wears a sun disc on her head that is held in place by two horns relating to the cow, sacred symbol of motherhood. She is the divine consort of the hawk-headed deity Horus, allowing her to bridge this world and the cosmic realms and bring in the infinite light of the sun. In other words, the Hierophant. In this gateway, Hather is the figurehead of an intergalactic race of beings called the Hathers. There's a good chance that the ancient Egyptians were in touch with this divine race as evidenced by the many Hather pillars at the Temple of Dendera. The Hathers appear as elongated pillars of infinite light, illustrating their capacity to bridge heaven and earth. Their divine mission is to activate light upon the earth. Interlinked with both the energy of the central sun and Venus, they bestow solar light blessings and ignite the energy of unconditional love within. When you receive this light card, know that they are ushering in great blessings. Visualize a pillar of light descending from the heart of the midnight sky and bathing your body in infinite light. If there is an aspect of your life that needs light, think of it now. This is a light immersion. You are experiencing a full system upgrade, Taurus. The infinite solar light of the Hathers is surrounding you now, and this is a time of expansion and excitement. You are filled with unlimited potential. The gifts that were once in darkness are now being brought into the light. The parts of yourself that were once hidden are now being seen. Life is being restored. If you have been experiencing sluggish or tiredness, this is now being washed away. Something ancient has awakened within and you are remembering why you are here. Welcome home to your light. Wow. Wow. Welcome home. Taurus, I feel like this has been such a long journey for you. This has been something that you've really been fighting and working towards. We, I mean, we go back when we look at all these readings for Taurus, and I even want to say maybe three, four years of readings, that this has been a battle. You know, the collective, all signs have been going through a battle, but there is a an expansion that is taking place for you right now, Taurus, that... Um, I feel like whoever I'm connecting to, you're fully aware of this. 
You know what you've been going through. You know what you're feeling. You know what you're experiencing. You recognize that you are um, working with the divine. You recognize that you are shifting and changing parts of yourself. You recognize that you are... Um, how, what's the word I want to say? You recognize that you are addressing your own stains or darkness within to fill them with light. There's a real growth taking place here. Full system upgrade, light immersion. Ooh, so you know that what that means, right? New levels, new devils. Some people are going to be jealous, but that's okay. Send them love and light. That, that's what helps you ascend anyways, right? Is non-judgmental love and just loving them. Love your enemies too. Love your neighbors. All right, we have the fool. And your neighbors, just in case anyone's wondering, is everybody. It's not just a select few, it's everybody. All right, we have the fool. Taking a leap of faith here in the past, surrendering to the divine, leaving your baggage behind. This was not something that was easy for you. Yeah, no, it was not easy for you, five of pentacles. Because how do you know when to jump when you're coming from a place of lack? The biggest struggle is getting out of the lack. But when you have been in the darkness for so long, you don't even know which direction to go. But Taurus, I feel like you just kept swimming. Yeah, Nine of Cups. You were very, very determined. Spirit is saying this had to do with your faith because even though you couldn't see the light at times, you were hanging on to that faith of, okay, well, God always comes through. He never falls back on his word. So I may not see it yet, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to. That takes a lot of strength. We're going to get into the details, too, of these cards and really figure out what was going on here. We have the Ten of Wands. Center of your reading, Taurus, is the Queen of Swords. Uh-oh. Taurus is locked in and focused. When that happens, that means nothing else matters. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. You don't have time for this illusion or this confusion. The Eight of Swords. I feel like you're calling each thing forward in your life and requiring truth to be seen. And if there is no truth, if there's confusion, gone. Eight of Swords, because that's how you break out of these patterns. Yeah, the Three of Cups. Clarify, please, for Taurus. Injustice, there it is. Huge breakthrough in karmic cycles. Yeah, with the sun on the bottom. What's the overall lesson and challenge that Taurus needs to be focused on in regards to this situation on the table? You have the four of pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, strong Capricorn energy here. And the Three of Swords. All right, with Libra energy. I feel like you were just trying to make sense of what you've been through, of the pain. You have the yin and yang sign here. So it's very interesting energy because although... It looks like deep pain. I feel like you went through this and we're experiencing and seeing this from a higher level. All right, you have the moon, the four of swords. Yeah, the two of wands and the world on the bottom with temperance. Yeah, you were, this is, I mean, you knew what you were doing. You were very tuned in to the depths of your emotions, to your trauma, to the illusions. You were searching for light. You may have isolated yourself. You went into deep prayer, a deep mode of healing here. You knew that you were at a crossroads in your life. All right. And you had to stay focused. Your lesson and your challenge here is um, you may kind of be struggling with understanding what to let go of. Or maybe it's not even so much of what to let go of, but more like um, how to give to a situation of pain. There's, there's still a few things that still linger around. There's still some grief. There's always going to be grief and sadness in our life. It's really in how we handle it. And I think right now you're in the moment and the presence of learning how to balance and alchemize an energy here, right? It's like you understand that this is something that's going to be with you because it's always going to be an experience that you had, but you're learning how to not hold on to it so tightly that it creates some type of um, 
resentment or grudge within your spirit. You had to let go of a lot of things that you didn't want to let go of. I see a lot of despair and a lot of pain here. But you're learning how to alchemize and balance that by loving the situation. What is this fool, please, for Taurus? What is this fool card? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Wow. You were on a journey to find your fulfillment. Like I said, you were coming from a space of lack, but you recognized this. It's almost like you had a head start. And, I, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a Taurus and it's like favoritism. Um, that's, that's not exactly, you know, what I'm, what I'm saying here. But it's like, I really, the way that Spirit is showing this to me is that there was some type of, you were, you were already ahead of the game in the sense that when this lack here, this five of pentacles, these losses were coming towards you. Maybe you were already kind of knee deep in your healing journey and that's why. Because when this five of pentacles came along, because you may have experienced like loss after loss. And after a certain amount of time, you had a realization of, okay, it's all right. These aren't permanent. I've got to figure out how to feel myself in the middle of this, this loss, in the middle of this pain. That's why the Nine of Cups is here. And I also feel like there's an element of some people here, Taurus, almost thinking that you were foolish because of how happy you were. Does that make sense? Like because of how much you smiled even in the midst of pain. And so it made people take advantage of you because they didn't realize it was a strength because it's not something that they were able to do. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Wow. This is how you changed your mindset. There's new opportunities that were being presented to you in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your loss. But you knew that you needed to shift your mindset here. You knew that you needed to take action. I feel like there was also a lot of forgiveness that was taking place within yourself personally in regards to other situations or maybe even how people treated you here. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this was not an, a quick process. Somebody here was waiting for something or waiting for somebody to come and like apologize or somebody was waiting for somebody to take action towards them and it never happened. And part of that was your spiritual lesson. Like for a while you may have sat in grief about why isn't this shifting? Why isn't this changing? Or why isn't this happening? Take it out, it resonates. But what spirit is showing me is it was part of your spiritual lesson. Like spirit purposely didn't let something happen because the lesson was for you to get to this 10 of cups on your own. It was for you to fully take back your, your energy, your, your, your strength, your power and to fulfill yourself because whoever I'm connecting to, you're the chain breaker. What came in with the sign of cups, please? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Yeah, you were, in, you were the one that was breaking these karmic cycles, these lessons that may have been um, very, very frequented patterns in your uh, lineage here. These are big cycles, and you were, you're changing the hands of time. Your timeline jumping is what was happening. And so that's why spirit wasn't letting something happen because you're meant you're going to a higher level where maybe that other person or that other situation isn't quite prepared and or ready to leap as far as you are at this time. It doesn't mean they won't catch up, but at this time, clarify, please. Yeah. A positive outcome is coming. Okay. And I feel like that's what you hold on, to, held on to. That's where I was getting this energy where people thought you were foolish. Like everything could have been falling apart for you, Taurus, and it didn't matter. You still had a positive outlook because you understood the power of your mind. You understood the power of your words. You understood the power of your spirit. <laughs> I mean, I can't make this up. Use your spiritual authority. That's what you were doing. 
is funny because you're an inspiration. Okay, you were an inspiration to somebody who was very unstable. And I don't think that they let you know that. But this person doesn't understand how you kept overcoming these losses and these lessons of lack and loss. But it's truly because of, of the power that you held within in regards to your spiritual authority and maintaining a positive outlook where other people saw you as naive and foolish. In reality, it wasn't being naive and foolish. You were literally being led by spirit, led by faith. Virgo energy. Yeah, this is your inner wisdom. So you may have had to experience... Um, bouts of isolation. A lot of isolation here is new wisdom and new information was being brought to light for you. Yes, yeah, see silent treatment, ghosting and ignoring. You had to pull back your energy. And in, in, in whoever that was earlier that I was connecting to where you were waiting, 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 the reason why that person was ghosting you is because spirit wasn't allowing them to come forward. Whether or not they made the connection that it was spirit withholding them, Things kept happening to themselves and in their life that did not allow them to come towards you because the Most High needed you in this position in order to get you off of a certain cycle so that it, he could move you into your and onto your divine path, I should say, not into. Yeah, see, spell work is being done. It will be rejected. You are protected because somebody, like I said, Spell work is, is intentions. It can be as simple as somebody's negative words and thoughts to you. It could be stronger than that too, depending on what um, dimension you're living in uh, or realm. But um, overall energy that I'm getting with this here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune is these karmic cycles, they were curses, generational curses that were placed upon you. But I also feel like there was an energy of lack around you coming from people who did not believe in you. And you broke out of them by believing at a higher frequency than these low vibrational intentions that were being sent your way. Like somebody was putting intentions on you at a frequency. Put it this way. Here's how spell work works a little bit or just energy intentions. Okay. For 101. If something has like words have the ability to manipulate your belief system and keep you stuck, right? When we think of words, we think about the power of life and death. We think about energy intentions, manipulation, okay? Or in other words, in other realms, you could call that spell word. But if something has the power to do that, that's because you're vibrating lower than the frequency of that manipulation and intention. Once you vibrate at a higher frequency, once you walk with the divine and you have a very strong relationship with the most high and you are in your prayer, you use your spiritual authority and you are protected, that stuff can no longer work on you because you see it for what it is. Okay. So, and I'm talking to people who don't know, for those of you that know, just bypass this lesson, but let's give an opportunity for others that are just awakening and, and coming into this. And that's really what your spiritual authority is here. So what's taken place here is you are vibrating at a higher level than the manipulation that was being done to you and that is how you were able to break out of this situation whoever this was that thought you were foolish I feel like what was heartbreaking for you as well is that you saw what this person was doing and maybe you just didn't even bother explaining and or arguing with them because you were like whatever keep doing what you want to do to me I'm not the one vibrating low you are you, you know what I'm saying that's deep stuff Taurus good for you all right, you have the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. I mean, whatever this was, it was the intentions of it was to create a heavy burden. It was a lot for you to work through, but it looks like that hard work is behind you now. You are facing some uncertainty here with the Seven of Cups, but you're facing it as the Queen of Swords. So as daunting and uncertain as it may be to someone else or to others, I feel like you've got a pretty clear grasp on what's going on. I don't feel like you're too confused. I do feel like the level of spiritual authority that you are um, presenting towards the Seven of Cups, like I said, is at a higher vibration that it, it can't really do anything to because it more looks like the queen is attacking the illusions as opposed to the illusions attacking the queen. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can see the truth here. 
What is this uh, Ten of Wands here? So let's see what's going on. For Taurus, current energy. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. I mean, it's not easy to stay in a space of love and abundance while intentions and, and negative energy are being thrown your way while you're going through lessons and, and life burdens. Clarify, there is somebody that looks like they want to make their way to you. Or there's like another go round here with the Ace of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You're very, very focused on bringing in love and abundance here. You're creating your own happiness. And you're walking away from anything that feels heavy and or less than. Also, I feel like your focus here is on building or creating something new. Like you could be going to school or it's a new job. But you're working on something. Very studious very focused on what brings you joy. Yeah, the two of wands. You're at a pretty big crossroads here. Let's get one more so I can get the whole scope. For Taurus, please. Oh, the king of swords. Okay. I feel like somebody may be trying to come in and throw a curveball your way. Um, it's not going to go over very well for them. You actually have more than one suitor, okay? You have the King of Swords and the King of Wands that are showing up here. Um, whether you're aware of them or not, it doesn't matter. You've got eyes on you. And what's interesting is in true Taurus fashion, I do feel like you're oblivious to it because your focus right now is on your, your own self, on what you're building and creating. There's a lot of self-love that's going on here. There's a lot of, um, like I said, there's just it's just you. And you seem to be looking in one direction and this King of Swords uh, seems to be really overwhelmed and confused with the energy that you're putting off because it's different than what you have previously put off in the past. I want one more on this King of Swords, please. Who is this? What is this King of Swords? Could be a Scorpio or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be in the top three as well. Yeah, this is somebody, wow, Four of Swords, Libra energy. And there it is, Scorpio on the bottom. I mean, I'm telling you. This King of Swords. You're not communicating with this person. They feel like you've shut them out. Whoever this is. Or they feel like they've been silenced here. But your silence is, is bringing them great confusion. Four of Swords and death for me typically means death with the world. So something has been cut off and ended here. Let's go into this a little bit further. Please show me for Taurus. I feel like somebody is arguing with themselves or they are um, disappointed in themselves and the things that they said to you. It's like they see you for who you are, It's but it's... At the same time, it's causing so much confusion for them. They just don't understand what is taking place. They don't understand. And it's because of the timeline jumping. It's because of the light that you're emanating. And for people who aren't vibrating on that frequency, it is going to be confusing for them. They're not going to understand how you got to this, to this point, this part. Clarify, please, for Taurus. They're, this is somebody who's wishing they could take back whatever what they said. Like, you may have been heartbroken because of what they've done to you or how they responded, but it's, the tables have turned here. <laughs> and look at that. Someone is guilty. This person is, is trying to think of ways on how they could come towards you. They, but this is just it. This is what I'm saying. They don't know how to approach you anymore, Taurus. You're not the same person. And that has somebody worried. Yeah, because look at that. What do I say? You're vibrating at a higher frequency. Higher calling and purpose. It's lonely at the top. Okay? 
you're going to start to see a really big shift take place for you in Aries season. Really, really big shift. The past is holding you back. You need to be present. Forgiveness might be needed. And you aren't praying enough about this situation. So let me clarify what this, what I'm seeing with this. Because with this, you aren't praying enough about the situation. Immediately what I was taken to here, Taurus, is someone who... Because you've already dealt with it in your mind, you might not be continuously communicating about this situation anymore with the divine. And I feel like you're supposed to. If you've recently had a dream about this person or some type of vision about this person, sorry, my glasses are hurting me right now. Um, if you've had a dream about this person, I feel like spirit is saying you need to start praying or it's because this person is thinking about you. They're, like I said, they're not understanding what's taking place because you're reaching levels that they didn't actually think you were going to reach. Just like we saw in the beginning. This is like somebody thought you were foolish. Okay. Somebody thought you were foolish. Look at that. Coming soon. They want to try again thinking of a plan. I told you. Somebody's trying to think of a way to get towards you. Hmm. You have the Eight of Swords, the Three of Cups, and Justice. This person feels like they were tricked. Because if this person, let's go back for a minute, Taurus. I don't know who this is for. This may not be for everybody. But if this person was actively aware of and using spell work, a lot of times when people use spell work, and the reason why it's dangerous to use and you shouldn't use it, it is because it gives you a false sense of power. And it looks as though this person who is using this, and again, I want to reiterate, this part is not for everybody, but it could have, it could, you could relate this spell work to manipulation. Whoever it was, they had some type of control issue where they felt like they were more powerful or that they were vibrating at a higher level than you because of the manipulation that they were placing on you. It made them think you were weaker than them, okay? And this person feels tricked now because it looks like you are healing or reaching certain levels or going to certain places that they didn't actually think were possible for you which in turn is making them feel like they were tricked by the divine but they're not realizing that the divine was actually using you as a lesson for this person because this person was overusing their spiritual authority we all have spiritual authority and the only way you turn your spiritual authority into spell work is when you try to use your spiritual authority to manipulate the free will of others okay and that's what it looks like this person was doing. And now this person is not understanding what's going on. And they're guilty because at the end of the day, this person is realizing I actually have feelings for Taurus. Isn't that crazy how that works out? Mm -mm -mm. What is this Eight of Swords here in the Three of Cups with Justice? Think about this Eight of Swords. I like. I just, they, this person expected you to be stuck in this eight of swords energy and you're not. You're in like this celebration mode. Good things are happening to you here with the three of cups. That's karma with justice. That's karma. What is this eight of swords, please? Yes, yeah, strength. They don't understand how you had the strength and courage to get out of this situation here. Somebody here is also stuck and trapped in their pride and ego. I don't feel like it's you. Be very aware of somebody that still wants to keep you. It's like I said, it's this control issue. Somebody wanted you bound. They wanted you unable to move forward. They wanted you to not see. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. It's not funny, but I mean, we've been seeing this happen. This person has taken a major loss. Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Wow. Clarify, please. Yeah, the star. Major transformation. I mean, you're a healer. You're receiving divine wisdom, divine guidance. They're watching you. Somebody's, they're, they're watching you. 
They're watching you in secret. It's like they're watching you get away. They're watching you walk away. They, I'm t Whoever I'm tapping into, they do not understand what's happening. This emperor, see they had a control issue. This person had a pride issue. Look at that and then there's the empress. You were the prize. And so now they're about to watch your true emperor or empress come in. There's a victory here for you. And I feel this person's karma is that they're gonna have to watch you receive this new offer from the divine. They're gonna watch you receive this new offer from the divine, okay? Um, wow. Some type of karmic third party issue has come to an end here or a cycle. Vultures could be significant here. This is something that you worked hard at. I do feel like somebody is preparing to communicate with you. So just prepare yourself for that's like they can't hold on anymore. They can't they can't wait. They've got to say something towards you. Aquarius energy here. Well, Aquarius energy twice. They see something very, very clearly. The veil has been removed. It's like they didn't know who you were, but now they do. They probably recognize that you're an earth angel. Stolen abundance, money, fraud, theft, trying to take what's yours. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, they made a big mistake. They made a really big mistake and they realize that now. That's what the Seven of Swords is. They were trying to get away with something. You can, you can run, but you can't hide from the divine Libra energy. Justice is here. The decision has been made. You have healed and closed out a cycle. And now all they can do is watch this new love come in. Level up. New love is coming in. Blessings and rewards are coming. You have a spiritual promotion. Maybe even a new job or promotion coming in too. It's like you, everything about your story is mind-blowing to this person. Mind-blowing. Money coming in. What did I say? Money is coming in. Loans, investments, and raises. Can I get two more, please, for Taurus in regards to what's coming for them? I mean, this is karmic justice. It is what it is. You are not crazy. You are just awakening and continue to express more gratitude in your life. Yeah, this person has a lack of a connection to God. It's like I'm saying... This is that that is what happens when you use your spiritual authority to take away the free will or manipulate the free will of others. It's because you've lost your connection to the divine. When you have a relationship with the most high, you won't utilize your spiritual gifts or your spiritual powers to harm or manipulate other people. It just won't you won't do that. And so this person is going through a pretty big karmic cycle that they had intended for you to go through because whoever this is got caught up in the illusion that they had more power than you because they were utilizing energy manipulation. When in reality, if you have to stoop down to that level of using spell work or energy manipulation against someone else's free will, you don't, you're not hired. You can't, you can't be. You can only achieve greatness in this life when you are utilizing your spiritual authority and your spiritual gifts with the most high. You have to be a co-creator with the divine. You can't be out here wishing harm on people and expect rewards to come your way. That's, I mean, and the sad thing is there really are people out here who think that they can get ahead doing that. It's, it's not gonna be stable, it's not gonna last long. I definitely don't feel like that was you, Taurus, whoever I'm connecting to here. All right, let's get into this closing messages, please, for Taurus in regards to this situation. What does Taurus need to know? Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah, it doesn't. Whatever this person did, you don't have to worry about it. You can't let this past hold you back. Forgive this person for they know not what they do and continue to move forward. Do what you were doing in the midst of the pain with them because you had a lot of power of, of continuous, uh, continuously pushing forward in your faith here. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Yeah. You don't, don't, again, I feel like this person somehow manipulated and messed with your self-worth. 
Everybody has struggles and challenges in this life. And this person does too, whether or not they made you believe they did, or, you know, if they made you feel less than, no, 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 no. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. I feel like this reason was this person was here. It's a, it's a double-edged sword. You taught this person a lesson and they taught you a valuable lesson too. All right. You're being transformed here. You have light immersion. If I can get it up. All right. Full system upgrade, power recall. And I feel like part of that experience with this person and or this situation was you to learn how to call back your power, how to fully stand in your strength and in your light with the divine. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. That's what this three of swords is. There's a part of you that still wishes that it didn't turn out this way. Right? That, that, that this didn't happen this way. I feel like a lot of you really wanted this person to come with you. And one more message, please, for Taurus. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. This was a lesson, all right, and you overcame that lesson. I do feel like you had to lose something or somebody that was very important to you, okay? But understand the beauty of the, the situation and what you went through. This person was trying to take something of yours, and I feel like they were taking great advantage and manipulating you. Um, and I do believe that you recognize that and caught that early on, Taurus, and you walked away. And you're now in the process of building and creating bigger and better opportunities because you have discarded the darkness that was attached to you and you're allowing yourself to align to your divine purpose and path. And with that divine purpose and path, it does, it does bring in losses that will always be with you these losses will always be with you in a part of your experience, but you don't have to hold on to them so tightly and heavy. You can integrate them into your journey and allow them to transform you, which I believe is what you're doing. All right, Taurus, I send you so much love. I look forward to hearing from all of you and I'll see you guys next week. Um, you guys, I know that uh, I told you guys I went back to school. So I am currently in school to become a phlebotomist and I took an accelerated program. Um, and so I have seven classes left, but it's night classes for four hours um, at night. And when I tell you the uh, workload that I have on, so I really appreciate your guys' patience with me while I don't show my face and while I get all the schoolwork done because I too am in the process of making big changes for me and my children. So uh, I just want to say thank you because uh, you guys are my, my number one viewers here. I get the most views from Taurus. Um, and I just really appreciate your patience with me at this time. So I'm almost done with school and then I do the national um, exam and my externship. And then uh, we should be back on track with uh, me having more energy and showing my face and, and kind of going back to the way things are. So I send you guys so much love and I look forward to hearing from you all. Bye.